Hi, my name is Adam. Welcome back to Godot Game Lab. In this video, I want to thank all of you for your overwhelming support for our Slay the Spire in Godot course, Season 1. Wink, wink. I learned a bunch of new stuff thanks to you, which I'm super grateful for, and your support motivates me to keep cooking up some content in the lab. And on that note, let's discuss a couple of things. First of all, some of you've been asking if there's any way to support me or what I'm doing. And most importantly, I don't plan to release paid courses or content like ever. I believe that one of the best things about the internet is that everyone can access high quality educational content regardless of their background or financial situation. That said, doing this still takes a lot of effort and time and I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like not starving to death. So if you want to support me, there are two ways to do so. I set up a coffee page where you can choose between monthly and one-time donations. Any help is appreciated, but please only consider donating if you can really afford to do it. Link in the description and in the channel bio. In the future, I plan to release tutorials and courses earlier for the monthly supporters and I will also include their names at the end of the lessons or videos. The other way the other way to support me is pretty simple actually. Just keep watching my videos, like, comment, subscribe and spread the word. Show the videos to your friends, follow me on socials and all that kind of stuff. So eventually I can hit the mark on YouTube and turn on the ads for some revenue. But that's enough talking about money, yuck. We're here to make games, right? So what's next for the game lab? First of all, I think I need to slow down a bit in the future. If you take a look at the rate I've been pumping out these videos, you can see that it's a straight path to burning out. And neither of us want that, right? So I will probably take some time off for the holidays before I return with new content. You can expect consistent but less frequent videos in the future. But what that new content is going to be? Well, I have a few ideas. I already set up a poll in the community tab where you can vote for these ideas, but you can always write down your own in the comment section below. So far, you really seem to like the idea of taking our Slay the Spire course to season 2. Adding random generated maps, shops, relics, power cards, all that kind of good stuff. However, I need to think about the architecture which takes time, then I need to try out different kinds of implementations, see what's working and what doesn't, and then finally structure the whole thing into a coherent course, right? That takes a lot of planning and work, so in the meantime I will release a Godot 4 beginner course, because a lot of you have been asking me about beginner content too. And some might say that it's pointless to create yet another beginner Godot 4 course, right? But here's the catch. This course will target people with absolutely zero programming knowledge. And that's a big thing, because I feel like a lot of these beginner-friendly tutorials already expect the students to be familiar with computer science concepts like variables, conditional statements, loops, functions and all that stuff. And even if they talk about those concepts, they don't really dive deep into these topics. Anyways, that's it for now. Thank you again for the overwhelming amount of support. And if you want to support my content, please consider checking out my coffee page. I'll probably come back after the holidays. Until then, keep cooking and have a good one. Bye bye. Whew, I should have.